it's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And we're winding it up here in Coronado on the garden rehabilitation that we've been working on this week. The other day I showed you how to deal with an agave attenuata that had just outgrown its space. And I wanted to show you what I replaced it with. This is aloe cameronii. And this aloe cameronii was actually in a stand of plant material over there by the octopus agave and I cut it all up and I chose one of the one of the florets or rosettes to put at the foot of the stream bed. This is one of my favorite plants to work with as a cutting because it will turn red almost immediately after having its head cut off. So what I did was I just left a little bit of stem. Now again, if you're concerned about rot, if you live in an area where you have a lot of precipitation or you uh, have very, very wet or boggy soil, you can set the Cameronii in the garage or in a dry place for this to callus for a few days before planting it. But out here in Coronado, I'm working in sand. We have no rain in the forecast for who knows how long. And I feel very confident just setting it right back down in the soil. Now you'll see here, um, here's the weed fabric, the black weed fabric, and there's a little slit in the fabric. So I just take the succulent, the aloe, and set it right down so it's making contact with the soil. Remember what I always say, if your succulent stands up, you've done your job. This has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity in Coronado with your succulent tip of the day.